Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Honey ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're doing a follow-up video to the video we did last week. That is the debut release of the new Icon Toolboxes from Harbor Freight. As we found out last week, Harbor Freight had put these in three of their stores in the LA area. I think it was Silmar, Hollywood, and Covina. Covina? 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 You know what place I'm talking about. Anyway, and the bear drove down there to get a first look at these things. And I got to say, wow, these things are fabulous. But anyway, check out my video here, link it up there. And uh, you can go take a look at that, the first look overview. But here we're, in this video, we're here to talk about uh, some of the questions that were asked. Primarily, the first question that everyone, you know, came to everyone's mind is, how much is it going to cost? Because that's a pretty big issue. Because if you can't afford it, what's the point, right? So let's take a look at some of this information, then we'll follow up with some of the, uh, a more, little bit more of an FAQ, as well as an, a uh, look-see at some of the other items that were kind of leaked by this. First up, when are they coming out? Which is September 30th. Now, I was told that they will have pricing in store sometime after mid-September, but up until then, they won't know. And I'll be honest, the pricing we have right now, it's kind of from leaked information from last year. You know, we've got the Trump tariffs and stuff going on with China and whatnot. It, this could greatly affect pricing. So I am i would not be surprised if it was a little bit more than what we're looking at. But let's start here, all right? So there was a, or actually I should say, there is a website. If you go to, uh, I think it's iconprofessionaltools.com. I'll, I'll put a link down there below in the uh, in the details for the video. But if you used to, if you, it used to be if you went there, they had information on the tools as well as the pricing, but they've changed that now that they've, they've got them in stores. And right now, all you see is this right here, Icon Tool Truck Quality, Unbeatable Prices, and then you can check them out at SEMA in the Westgate Hall. SEMA, for those of you who don't know, is the big aftermarket uh, parts and uh, hot rod and oh, just all sorts of automobile kind of related stuff show uh, out in here in Las Vegas uh, later in the fall. Uh, and uh, the good news is the bear's going to be there. So uh, we'll get you some highlights from SEMA, more details and stuff on this and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. But shut up, Moto. But that said, you know, here's what the site used to look like, blah, blah, blah. I had, you know, pictures of the boxes that we just saw, as well as talking about some of the tools that were coming out in the Icon line. But let's get to the pricing. At the time there, they were talking about leading truck brand. But let's zoom in on the price, because this is what's important. If we see here that they're going directly at Snap-on now, we now know that, that this is targeted directly at the Snap-on, the middle of the line, the master uh, class uh, uh, bench or, or toolbox, if you will. And uh, But the Harbor Freight price is 2499 At the time, now remember this is prices from last year, the Snap-on was 6775 uh, but we'll, we'll come back to the snap on here. So the work center, that's the hutch area, the big open box in the center. That's about a thousand bucks. The overhead cabinet's going to be 500 bucks. The 28 inch uh, end locker is going to be uh, 1300. The 22 inch end cap is going to be uh, 1700. That's the, uh, that's the drawer system on, on the right hand side. And then the stainless steel top there to give you a work surface. That's another $300 for a full system price of $7,294. And that's pretty much what you saw pictured there. My, I would not be surprised if that went up uh, a little bit considering that this was pre-tariff pricing. Now, now remember, we're here, we're talking about the 56 inch boxes. Now these cabinets are gonna come in three different sizes. And that is 36 inch, 56 inch, and 73 inch uh, cabinet bases. And you can build and expand off of that and everything else. Now, I went and priced recently that Snap-on cabinet with the same specs. Now, this is in the, the Master Series, not the Epic. This is the Master Series, which has pretty much the exact same specs as the uh, the Harbor Freight Icon Series does. 24-inch uh, depth, same weight capacity, or, base, or thereabouts. And it was $19,685, or as I like to call it, a new truck. Yeah, that's literally the price of that that snap-on cabinet now i get snap-on fanboys all the time trying to justify like, well this thing's gonna still be around in 30 years or something like i'm like well it better be because it's a toolbox it just sits there you don't move it around a whole bunch every so often you may move it from job to job but pretty much it just sits there it has drawers in it you put tools in it 
For that same price, I could buy an internal combustion vehicle like this. How do you justify that price? Sheet metal box, truck. Um, yeah. So anyway, and before some of you go off and says, well, those trucks are cheap because they're made overseas. Uh, actually, they have at least two, I think, two U.S. plants. One's down in, in uh, Louisiana there. So they're making them in the U.S., and they still cost under 20 grand or less than the price of a freaking snap-on toolbox. So here's the Master Series 54-inch toolbox from Snap-on with a list price of almost seven grand. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, oh, the, the you know, there's, they make better ones. Well, they do. They're, there's the Epic Series, which is a nice big, you know, 60-inch, and it comes in at 30-inch depth and everything, and it's almost 12,000, so... You could spend more, and that's, remember, that's just for the bottom box. That's not for the whole setup we saw pictured there with the hutch and the side lockers. No, that's just the bottom box. It's, you know, $11,745. Now, people would like to say, well, you can buy used. You know, all you, you know, save up a few bucks and go buy a used one for the, yeah, you can. Here's a typical good quality used snap-on box in that same kind of range. And you're looking at $2,700 for a used box. Now, remember, yeah, no warranty with this. You're just paying $2,700. Hope it lasts. Now, a lot of people say, well, I can use a warranty. That's great. If you got a hookup at Snap-on and you've got some best buddy who's going to get you the warranty, that's fine. But the official word from Snap-on is the lifetime warranty at Snap-on or any of the warranties from Snap-on are original purchaser only. And especially when it comes to toolboxes, you can read through my forums and stuff. There's plenty of people who got screwed over and that's the reason they switched from Snap-on because they thought... They were getting that lifetime warranty. In fact, if you buy it off the tool truck used, again, you're not getting a warranty. And I bet you your bottom dollar there that Snappy there isn't going to tell you that when he sells you that $2,700 uh, tool cart, you know, that he just repoed from somebody else who couldn't make the payments on it. Anyway, you know, and people are like, well, there's, you know, other, you know, companies out there like there's Cornwell and stuff, you know, their box there, it's $4,300. Uh, I found this Matco 4 Series toolbox with hutch and cart used for only $6,500. Now, the, the, one, the one company that does come close is Strictly Toolboxes. Now, Strictly Toolboxes does have a 55-inch by 30-inch drawer tool cabinet that comes very close to what the uh, Icon is offering. It doesn't have the power drawers and all the other uh, bells and whistles that the, uh, the Icon does, but it is slightly less expensive in price unless of course you want to add you know other stuff to it i priced this thing out with essentially the same build as we see as the icon and you're coming at uh between nine and ten thousand dollars depending on the features you choose and, oh and you're getting a five-year warranty versus a uh, a lifetime warranty so there you go your choice whatever makes you happy right now some people were concerned hey does this mean that the u.s general is going away but well, people are always trying to pull this stuff about like well, I don't know if uh, Harbor Freight's going to stand behind it or this is something new and I don't know if I trust them. This is a company who's been around for about 40 years at this point. They've been selling toolboxes for most of that time. Uh, then they have an outstanding reputation for backing their warranty. I don't get where that's coming from. It sounds like people are kind of grasping at straws. They, they don't want to admit that somebody's doing it for as good or better for cheaper. And, and so they kind of come up with these, these weird rationalizations. Anyway... The, the U.S. General isn't going away. This is part of their good, better, best thing. The Icon, of course, is going to be their best level. The U.S. General is their, uh, their better. It's their mid-range. Here you can see a 56-inch double bank cabinet for $650. This is a, a great cabinet. It, it's a, it's a straight-up tank. Um, now, some people ask, can you put the hutch from the other cabinet on this? Don't know. Uh, maybe somebody will try it, but I have not yet uh, seen any specs about whether you can or cannot do that. Now, as far as the good, that's going to be the Yukon line. The Yukon line right now, they have a 46-inch mobile storage cabinet with wood top. You see it on sale right now for $229, but it comes on sale for a couple times a year for around uh, $200. Now, they did used to have a nine-drawer version of this that sold for around three to three fifty. dollars but uh, that's gotten pulled, and I think what happened is, I think it was biting into sales of the U.S. General, and, and, and it was just too close, 
And so I don't know what's going to go on with that one. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't. Who knows? It's it's a shame because it was a great box for the price. Great for, a you know, your average homeowner DIYer sort. Um, one of the things is, you know, people are also saying, well, you know, the, you know, this is stupid that it's only 24 inches. All the other ones are 30 inches. That's not true. I've gone through and looked at it. That, uh, that snap on that we compared it to the, the less expensive one, not the 11,000, almost $12,000 one, but the $7,000 one, it's 24 inches too. The Matco I think is 25 inches. They're almost all right in that range. Now the Strictly Tools was 30 inches. But everyone else is right around that 24 to 25 uh, inch range. Uh, you could, you can, I mean, Snap-on does sell a 30 inch one. That's the one we showed earlier, and it's almost 12 grand. That's quite a chunk of change more to get, you know, a few more inches there. So, anyway, let's, you know, again, people come up with these weird, you know, contrivances for arguments, and they just kind of for think that nobody else is going to realize that. Oh, yeah, they're talking about something entirely different. Uh, another question was, are the, are the drawers uh, full extension? And as we can see here, it says that they are dual full extension drawer slides. In fact, if you can see in the video there, that it they, they comes all the way out there. Easy access to the rear of the box. You know, what more could you ask for? Now, let's talk about real quick some of the stuff that was leaked, okay, shall we? And what I mean by that is the pictures we saw of the hand tools that were in the bottom drawers here. So this is the top drawer on the left-hand side, and we can see their full socket sets here, which is no surprise, but they wasn't widely talked about the fact that there were going to be uh, icon sockets, not just sockets, but we can also see impact sockets as well. And we get the full line, we got them, and they show them in a stand-up configuration as well as a horizontal configuration. So we can expect to see those coming out probably sometime this year. The other thing we see here is we see ex, uh, extensions, we see drivers, drive sockets, we see wobbles, uh, and also a full assortment of uh, ratchets with nice comfort grip handles. This is something akin to like the Carlisles or the, the Snap-ons like this, and uh, I'm excited to see them. It'll be interesting to see what these look like. We got a flex head, uh, no word whether they're locking, you know, or, you know, that some of them have the grooves in them so they don't flop all over the place. And of course, in there in the back, you can see the Icon Torque Wrench box and that it fits the uh, that box uh, in, the, in the drawer as well. Now, of course, we got lifetime warranty, free delivery, blah, blah, blah. But looking behind that, what we see is we can see a set of Crowfoot uh, wrench uh, adapters. We can see a whole assortment of stubbies. And on the right-hand side, you can see some line wrenches as well. So it's looking like Harbor Freight is going to be doing an entire line of master class, if you will, master mechanic uh you know, line of hand tools. Now going down to the next drawer, we got wrenches. And here we've got a full set of combination wrenches, which are great. But behind them, that looks to me like some long-handled uh, ratcheting wrenches. And those, to me, are pretty exciting. And, you know, I'm a big fan of the ratcheting wrenches. I like the longer handles. You know, for somebody like me, he's got, you know, big paws and stuff. Maybe I can't get my hand in, uh, you know, as many places as some other folks. So I like the longer handles on those. So anyway, there you go. There's your uh, price and FAQ about the uh, Icon uh, boxes. You know, unfortunately, I don't have one, you know, in the shop yet. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one. We'll get you more information. But at least for right now, we have an idea, a ballpark on what the price is going to be. And we also have a better idea about some of the Icon tools that are going to be coming out to fill up one of these boxes here. Oh, and last but not least... Let's talk about credit. I did a video earlier this year talking about the fact that Harbor Freight is coming out with their own credit card. That is still in the works, should be released probably soon because the other thing is for your average mechanic and stuff, one of the benefits of buying out of the truck, one of the reasons they get them hooked is because they have that easy financing. And now apparently Harbor Freight's going to get into that game as well, offering financing to get people started and get the tools in there so they can start making money. And that's, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of large amounts of debt, but you know what? If you can get a professional class toolbox at this level, at least that's going to give you debt that is as reasonable and manageable. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. If you get any other questions or comments, post them down below. Don't forget to uh, give the old like button down there a, a chomp, just right there. Just give it old chomp. And uh, consider subscribing and ringing the bell so for more information here on the Icon Toolboxes and so much more. 
Anyway, that's all I got for you. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.